Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were getting lots of evidence against Sunri, as well as evidence to try and defend him. Um, the evidence against him was a video showing that he actually did it. Um... And when we confronted him with that knowledge, he told us that's exactly what happened. But, unfortunately, there is, <laughs> there is no way I can show that video evidence without immediately condemning him. And he will be immediately sentenced from that point. So we're going to have to pretend that the video evidence does not exist. Which is unfortunate. And there's not much else we can do about it. Sorry to say, there's not much else we can do. So, we will go ahead with the trial all the other evidence we have. As arbiter of the Sunri murder trial, you have the authority to question me on matters pertaining to this case. And no more questions for now. Very well. When you feel you have gathered enough evidence, you may speak to the warden in charge of the prison where Sunri is being held. We will bring Sunri to us and the trial will commence. Yep. That's basically all there is to it. Where is... Yeah, that's the other two. I was making sure I didn't accidentally set it to solo mode at some point. Okay. So. We talk to the warden. So you are the arbiter in the Sunri Alasa murder case, then. I hope you are as impartial as the office is traditionally supposed to be. You off-worlders have a tendency to ignore the rule of law in favor of some rather irrational causes. What is it I can do for you now? Wow, okay. Way to just say, fuck you, dude. I shouldn't be swearing this early in the episode, but screw it. Come on, man. <laughs> That's just rather rude. Alright, uh, we'll begin the trial now. Are you certain, human? Once the trial has begun, it cannot be stopped, and once judgment is given, the case can never be reopened. You must be certain your investigations are complete before you request a trial. This is the role of the Arbiter. Are you certain you wish to begin the trial now? <laughs> oh, that second option. Yes, let's begin the trial. Very well, human. I shall advise the court and we will begin immediately. All right. Let the record show that the trial of Sunri versus the Otto City Authority has commenced. Presiding are Judges Shelkar, Josa, Nala Shikan, Kota, and Dula. This trial is to determine the culpability of Sunri and the death of the Sith Ilasa. Representing Sunri in his defense as a member of the Jedi Order. Do you have any opening statements? Um. I have no comments at this time. <laughs> Acting as a prosecutor for the Otto City Authority is an impartial observer from the Sith Empire. It is an honor to see justice served. Oh, shut and up. I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. Shut up. Do not be too overzealous in pressing your commission, Sith. The first matter of business is the presentation of a sworn testimony by the proprietor, Ignis, of the hotel where the murder occurred. What is the testimony you wish to give us? The man I saw leaving, Sunri. Probably left after I heard the blaster shot. The guilt of the accused is apparent even this early in the trial. Know your place, Sith. This is important evidence. The court will keep this in mind near the top of the list of pertinent facts. 
We will now begin by calling forth the witnesses to the crime and taking their testimony. After each witness has given their testimony and you have cross-examined them, you may ask the presiding judges for their opinions on the current state of the case. This is a special privilege given by Manan Law only to the defendant, so use it wisely. The first witness is Firith. Prosecution will question the witness first. You are Firith Me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. All right. Do not under... <laughs> Objection. Objection sustained. Ask the witness your questions and do it promptly. But misspelled promptly, but yeah, it's fine. Of course, Your Honor. Feareth me, what did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot and saw Sunry over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> A very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. A very pertinent point, Prosecutor. It is now the defense's turn to cross-examine the witness. Well, let's start with the stuff that we learned from this guy. Elasa is a dark Jedi, isn't she? Yes, from what I could tell. She carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. Yeah, it does. No, this piece of evidence is very important. It establishes the character of Alasa and perhaps her intent in dealing with Sunri. Do you have additional questions? Uh... Was the metal left at the crime scene not a little too obvious? I think it may have been. I mean... You'd have to be pretty stupid to leave something that important lying around, wouldn't you? This argument has merit. Do you have additional questions? How could Sunri have harmed her if he was... so grievously injured? Well, he was moving pretty fast running away, but... Yeah, I mean, how could he kill a Sith warrior in combat? I don't know for sure. Do not think less of Sunri because of his handicap. He is fully capable. Can't you see that the man can hardly walk, let alone fight Alasa? That is enough for now. We will deliberate on this later in private. Do you have additional questions? Um, did you actually see the murder happen? You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. Your point is well taken, Arbiter. Do you have additional questions? Nah, I'm done. Very well. Would you like to use this opportunity to poll the judges? Eh, I'll wait. Since the defense has no further questions, we will call out the second witness, Rodian Glupor. Prosecution may question the witnesses. Glupor the Rodian. You were staying in the hotel the night of the murder, and saw Sunri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? Yes, Glupor sees Sunri running down hallway, and when Glupor looks in room, is this woman dead on floor? This is clear, then, that Sunri left the room with the Sith Elasa already dead behind him. Perhaps, Sith, perhaps. It is the turn of the defense to question the witness now. Yeah. Let's start with, isn't the metal at the crime scene too obvious a clue? Gloop or not, no. Why would en why anyone leave things in someone else's room? Gloop or just think these things happen. It is just odd. Yes, odd indeed. Do you wish to ask the witness anything else? Did you plant the metal on Elasa? Glupor. Glupor. Don't do it, Glupor. The prosecution will be silent. What is it you wish to say, Glupor? Glupor. Glupor paid by Sith to plant that metal. Lies. Slander. I object. You are certain of this, Glupor. Glupor certain. This new evidence puts the entire case in a new light. Do you wish to ask the witness anything else? Did you see Sunri kill Alasa? Glupor... Glupor not see Sunri really hurt Sith. But Glupor did see Sunri leaving room with dead Sith in it. But Glupor not see him really kill Sith. 
an important distinction, Arbiter. Do you wish to ask the witness anything else? Now nah, I'm done. Would you like to poll the judges at this time? Yeah. I think that Sunri could not have committed this crime. Sunri, perhaps, was not the killer. I cannot make my decision on what I have yet seen. I do not believe Sunri, as a well-standing Republic citizen, could have committed this crime. Perhaps I was wrong, after all, in my thoughts about Sunri. That's for saying no. Alright, no more questions. The court will call out Elora, Sunri's wife. You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. A supposition for now, Prosecutor. Does the defense have any questions for the witness? He was a Republic war hero, wasn't he? Yes. He fought against the Sith in the last war. He fought bravely and was even awarded the Hero's Cross. I don't know how much that means to the Sith or to your Selkath, your honors. But in the Republic, it is awarded only to the bravest, most valorous, most honorable men. The kind of man who earns that medal would not kill someone in cold blood. Your husband earned a medal because he excelled at killing Sith. It relates directly. Do not let personal opinions sway your judgment of the law. Do not have... Do you have any more questions? Well, we're going to have to bring this one up eventually. Was it true your husband was having an affair with Elasa? Yes. Yes, it was true. He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. Ooh, it seems harlot. painfully wow. obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. Be silent. You have already questioned the witness, prosecutor. He'd been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He'd gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But now things have become so very complicated. That is very enlightening evidence. It will influence our deliberation considerably. Do you have any more questions? Nope. Will you use this opportunity to poll the judges? Yeah. Not enough information to make an informed decision. Okay. Unsure as whether Sunri was the actual murderer. Cannot make our decision. No for Sunri. And confident it will be proven. What? I wish to call forth Sunri himself, your honors. Oh. Okay. Very well. Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunri? You fought in wars against the Sith Empire, correct? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Even hate them? Of course I hate them! Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were you in Alasa's room on Is the night the... of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I had been having an affair with Alasa and my wife, yes. But I realized how wrong I'd been, and I was going there to end it. You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. Do not interrupt the accused. In fact, I think you've said quite enough already, Prosecutor. Do you have any question to ask the accused, Arbiter? You're going there to end the affair. Would the Sith object? Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to be. Really, though? Be silent, Prosecutor. This is a valuable point that lends some credence to your defense, Arbiter. Is there anything else you wish to ask the accused? How could Elasa have gotten hold of your medal? I don't know. The medal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's well, we already know what happened the to it. Stolen it and had it planted on the body. 
Supposition, your honors? True, but it does have merit and deserves consideration. Is there anything else you wish to ask the accused? Alasa was a Sith spy, wasn't she? Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? You are not helping yourself, Zunri. You only give reason why you might kill her. Are you sure about that? He merely states facts. The incompetence of the murder indicates that her occupation was not the motive for the killings. The fact remains. Alasa was a Sith and likely a spy as well. Is there anything else you wish to ask the accused? No. Will you use this opportunity to poll the judges? Sure. Sunri could not have committed the crime. Sunri perhaps was not the killer. The evidence is weighted against Sunri. You are constantly against Sunri. You can fuck off. I do not believe Sunri. Yep. I, on Sunri's side. I cannot tell if Sunri killed Alasa, but I'm confident it will be proven. It clearly has not. The witnesses have all been called forward and questioned by both prosecution and defense. The prosecution will now present, in closing, its summary of the pertinent facts of this case. I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, giving his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges, your honors, to this very conclusion. Indeed. And your closing statements, Arbiter? Uh, hmm. No one actually witnessed the murder. Truth. Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. He was there, running from the room. If you speak out of turn again, you will be forcibly ejected from the court. The Arbiter speaks a valid fact. Is there another point you would make? Uh, Sunri was ending the affair, so the Sith killed her. The Sith would not leave the medal of her killer clutched in her hand. It's already been proven you did. Your time for arguments has passed, and you would do well to remember that. The Arbiter's argument does bring up a valid point. Is there anything else you would state? Ah, uh, yeah. Elasa was a spy, and the Sith are framing Zumri. I find that highly unlikely, Arbiter. The Sith have no need of such deception. The facts speak clear. You are constantly hating the Republic. The Sith have been known for violence, deception, and murder before. That is also true. Is there another point you would make? Uh, would it be too much? The Sith are obviously evil and set this all up. Objection! The Arbiter is allowed an opinion as well as you, Prosecutor. No matter how erroneous. Eat my entire ass! Or truthful. Thank you. All right, my arguments are complete. Then the court will now deliberate amongst ourselves. This court hereby finds Sunri innocent of the murder of Sith Ilasa. Your honors, no! Shut up. Silence. Thank you. <laughs> the verdict has been delivered, and this trial is now over. Well done. You showed wisdom worthy of a Jedi Master during this trial. Thank you. Oh, Sunri. I'm so glad. Elora, thank you for saving me. I don't know how I can repay you. Elora and I are going to leave here and get as far away from all this as soon as we can. I and the Republic will not forget what you've done for us. Thank you. You're welcome. And slowly fade to picture and... 400 experience for all of that, really? I feel ripped off, but all right. Cool. Now nah, the Sith ain't even here. <laughs> Booyah. How may I be of a... I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? While I'm not facing you. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Nothing for now, I guess. All right. Okay. 
And let's talk to Joe Lee. He was friends with Sunri. Got something on your mind, do you? So, what do you think of the verdict? Innocent. Hmm. I don't know what to make of it, to tell the truth. Do you think justice has been done? No, not really. But that has little to do with the law, doesn't it? A sad state of affairs, that. Too bad, really. Sunri was a good man once. Ah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. My jaw aches. Fair enough. Yeah, since we already saw video evidence that it actually happened, but we then, like a true lawyer, that uh, I'm sure even Legal Eagle would uh, appreciate, we uh, defended him against the uh, accusation regardless, and succeeded. So there's that. Alright, when it comes to other things that we need to do, I guess we gotta go back to Roland Wan. And finish off that thing. And then possibly find out why the Republic are hiring mercenaries at the same time. Hopefully, that is what we do. And hopefully I stop hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, where the f flying do? Okay, this is the way we're supposed to go. Trying to make sure I get to... Uh, Republic headquarters without shenanigans. I keep hitting that button when I mean to hit another button. Alright, um... Stocking Bay, that's the port official. So I had to go to East Central. Okay. So then we go right through here. Alright. So far, so good. All right. And now here, the... It's a visitor's hotel. There's a Republic Enclave. Okay. So I have to go up and then to the right. All right. You are just wandering in a literal circle, bud. Okay, here we are. Hand off the data, and then we can find out what the hell else is going on here. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Yeah, here it is. Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. Oh, yeah? As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. Mm -hmm. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need yeah, much more supplies do and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manon is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. Mm -hmm. Understandable. Uh, what has the Republic done? The Selkath Conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kolto exports, but a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. What sort of deal? We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Kolto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions oh. from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. What happened down there? We don't know. We just don't know. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith. But they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater and the reason we needed its data back so badly was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift Station. But now that we have the data back, 
Our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. How will I get down there? I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely mm -hmm. use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers yes. we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. Kono Nolan. Alrighty. 600 experience for that. And, uh... Mission for the Republic. And it does tell us how, why they're hiring mercenaries. But I guess I can't finish that right now because that quest didn't get updated. Weird. Roland Wan, the representative of the Republic on Manan, has told you that they're the Republic blah, 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 has made a secret base underwater near the source of Kulto emissions to study and eventually synthesize Kulto. They ran across some mysterious ruins that may be related to the star map. Unfortunately, something happened down there at the base, and all contact was lost. Roland has given you access to a submersible to go down to the base and find out what happened. Hopefully, this will lead to one of the star maps as well. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. And I'm sure the submersible is this way. But uh, what? <laughs> I don't know what I got stuck on, but okay. Well, hello. How are we all going to fit in this? That's a good question. Uh, it'll be cramped. That's for sure we're going to be cramped. But it might work out. There we go. This submersible can be used to descend to the deep ocean fracker to research station. Alrighty, let's use it. And get down there. And find out what happened. Okay, the FMV froze for a second. There it goes. Alrighty. And there's our little submersible. Oh, it's moving. It's a nice little detail they didn't have to add. It's very nice. Alright. And forward we go. How? How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Yeah. Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. Uh, who are you? No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. I'm sorry? What happened here? The Shell Calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere, and the Shell Calf came out screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. What happened to the scientist? They're dead. All dead. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them, so we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I locked the door behind us, but, but the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks, the Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the Selkath, like us. Oh. Oh. Then how the hell did we manage to get in? Uh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that last option. Ooh. Jesus. Let's get you back to the surface. Back to the surface. Yes. No. 
There's something out there. It got the other submersible already. We can't leave until you do something. Blow up the entire station, maybe. That might distract whatever it is long enough for us to escape to the surface. Okay. But all the machinery and stuff is in the southern half, and that's been flooded. There might still be environmental suits around, but but the cell calf might have laid their eggs in them. Okay, I think you're just overreacting there. Uh, I have to get into the station. No! I locked the door so the cell calf won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for. You call yourself a mercenary? If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead. If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. Right. Well, you have found out that all the cell cath and defensive systems in the station in the Rockard Rift have gone insane. The station is overrun with mad cell cath and malfunctioning machinery. Somewhere in the space may be a clue to the star map. Well. Antidote kit. Don't know why I would need that, but okay. Ooh, sonic grenades and credits. Those might be useful. Uh huh. Alrighty. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he wasn't kidding. Oh boy, a lot of credits and a thermal detonator. Oh, those are the sharks that they were talking about. Huh, interesting. Well, he was not kidding. There is a very high number of bodies. Locker here. Computer spike. It's probably good that I have for this. Oh boy, I do not have a lot of spikes on hand. Central storage room. Okay. That would make it a little too easy. Let's go to... Yeah, they're all in there. Return... To there and look at the central not the not the central storage the west storage um east hallway those were robots um and nothing else yeah uh south hallway don't just see one like one thing in there and i don't think it's a robot security room Oh. Uh, environmental suit containment. Okay. And security computer room. Where we're at. Okay. Let's not do that one thing. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's log out for now. Got a patrol droid. And... There we go. Perfect. There we are. Perfect. Worked out beautifully. Let's open this door. And deal with some of the insane cell gath. Oh! They do use poison. I guess I needed those uh, antidotes after all. Okay. Jesus. Hey. Ow. Alright. 
Nice! I did not mean to do that. I meant to heal. And now I mean to level up. <laughs> okay. Alright, skills. Let's look into what I can do with that. Um... Oh, wow. I can go that far and I haven't done it? Yeesh. Alright, um... Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. I think that's fine. Feats. Ooh. Immunity to paralysis and now have master sense. Nice. Very nice. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Advanced Jedi defense. That would be nice. Um. Master Toughness would be nice, too. Huh. Let's go with Advanced Jedi Defense. Just because it would be very useful at this point. Plus, going elsewhere with these, I don't see benefiting me too much. So, let's do that. And... Hmm. Entire party. That be that would be useful. Dominating mind is more of a dark side thing. Let's go for stasis. Just because it provides me another thing I can use against enemies. It's probably a good idea. Alright. Now that's taken care of. And I've looted basically every enemy that's here. Jedi Master Robe and a... Well, that's unfortunate. Jesus. Didn't know that a Jedi had came down here. Jesus. I keep hitting that button. Every time. Anytime I want to look at the map, I hit that button. Don't know why I keep doing that. Alright. Well, we'll go down here real quick. Oh yeah, this was the room I've already been in. That's right. I remember now. Alright. Okay, so... go back this way and through those doors. Oh. Well, that isn't good. Also, I have a whole bunch of enemies surrounding me now. Okay, I'm also stuck. Could you guys actually help me here? Doing combat? Wise. There we go. There we go. And Jolie will snap out of it eventually. There we go. And heals is done. Okay. Equipment pack, okay. What have we got in there? A med pack. Alright, well. <laughs> Quite an equipment pack that guy was packing. Alright. Okay. Uh, nothing in here, really? Okay. Go through this door, oh boy. Alrighty. Alright. Here we go again. And then, there we go, that does that, it's unfortunate, scientists memo and a sonic emitter, I keep hitting that button, 
every time. Uh, new items. Uh, I got a lot of crystals I need to do something with. Uh, Dark Jedi Master Robe. I forgot I had that. Um, <laughs> there's the scientist memo. In response to those Firaxan sharks outside, I managed to whip up a little something in one of the workrooms. This is a sonic emitter, which should scare them off. The sound seems to work a lot better underwater than through the air, and if you fix it to the outside of an enviro suit, just push the button and every time they get near and you'll have no problems. So I was just wondering, where am I going when am I going to get that race? <laughs> I created something that'll save y'all from a lot of issues. Where am I gonna get my money? <laughs> uh, I gotta respect the hustle. Gotta respect the hustle. Alright. This device emits a powerful sonic pulse useful for scaring off or stunning various wildlife. It normally has an extremely limited range, but in an underwater environment, the signal will travel quite a distance. It has proven quite lethal to several species of Firaxan sharks. That's not exactly what I had in mind. But, I mean, if it, it's what I have to do, it's what I have to do. Adrenal strength. Jesus. Getting a lot of adrenals. Never use them. <laughs> Ever. Well, hello. Probably should have invested in stun droid. <laughs> that is fine. There we go. Now we got some progress going. I will be your well, this is going to be a slow one. Well, that'll help a little. Alright. Saved from the stun. But we will just continue to... Get what? What are you doing? Jolie, what are you doing? Okay, Julie has lost it. He's decided he wants to combat everyone on the base before we even get to them. Jesus. Okay. Cellcath are fighting each other. That's weird. Your wish? Um, yes. I have no one who can deal with the mine. Oh uh, boy. Okay. Well, in that case, um, ow. There we go. Scientist's memo. Another sonic emitter. That's fine. I guess they give you a lot of options to get that emitter should you, you know, not very easily run into that situation uh, in other places in the whole place, in the whole facility. Words are hard. Arcanian energy shield. Ooh, and an improved energy cell. Very nice. This is where we defeated the robot. I already looted that. Don't know why I was stuck. Large locker. Okay. There we go. It's locked. Okay. Drinkable alacrity. Of course, it's locked. More parts. Wimp. Purring locker. Is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Ah. Uh, okay. Well. 
he's gone insane while being stuffed in that locker. I'm Farron Khan, and I've been sent by the Republic to investigate what's happened here. Investigate? You're just like the others. Fodder for the Selkath. Walk and fish next. Trump, trump, trump. If you can run, you might be fast food. Um. And started killing everybody. I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. No fishy food for you. What made the Selkath insane? Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. Fishy fishies, huh? Okay, well. Gotten mildly racist to the Selkath while being locked in there. I mean, I understand why he's uh, kind of lost it, considering everything I've seen. But still, that's, that's not really enough reason for justifying that. We'll protect you from the Selkath. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. The Selkath ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the Kulto is. Few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. You want to come out of that room. You feel safe with us. No, no, no. Only the ones Okay, left well, even that didn't work. Damn. Okay, if you don't come out, I'll just leave you then there. Bye bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. Alrighty then. I guess I'm fishy snack. I guess. Well, hello, patrol droids. Alright. Nice. And done. Nice. Perfection. Didn't mean to bash that open, but it worked. Nice foot locker here. With credits and a med pack. One here. With hyper battle stimulant and an advanced med pack. And that's about it. All that's really special. Alright. Did I already go into this room? I don't think I did. Oh, hello! There we go. Just trigger the mines, that way it's out of the way. Wow. Burpine Blaster Prototype Ion. Interesting. Credits and a grenade. And an adrenal. That's the pressure door. Environmental suit advised. Well, I can go back to where I found that environmental suit before. Didn't really pick it up. Didn't really do anything with it. Haha! -ha. So just a simple pick up and go. So much for the oh they may have laid their eggs in it. <laughs> I didn't even see that mine. Alrighty. And there we go. And they were just stuck there. No loot. And the other two, just a gas mine, which... There we go. And a frag mine. Ow! Hello! More of you! Well, 
well. Ooh. It, it might at least get me into the station. Okay. Okay. I'm at least in the station. I'm at least in the station. I will take that. I will have to redo everything else I did in the station, but I'm at least still in the station. That's fine by me. Not all of my progress was lost. But, for right now, this is where we end the episode. Simply because the game is now struggling to keep up, apparently. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos, and you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one year only Stray Cat playing games and uh, now running through an underwater facility. Uh, technically also underground because it's not known by the Cellcath authorities uh, because it's owned by the Republic. And uh, finding out that the Cellcath who were helping have gone crazy and eaten and or killed everyone on board the facility and it has something to do with some demon down there there was a demon roar according to that one guy who's crazy and living in a locker right now so something happened here it's not good and we're gonna have to figure out what to do about it probably not gonna be a good thing and the Selkath authorities are gonna be mad at me again but it is what it is for you